And it's my joy to thank you Thank you for always being good Thank you Your mercies that are new Thank you In spirit and in truth Thank you I'm telling you thank
thank you for your never-ending love. Thank you for your precious blood. Thank you for your never-ending love. I could sing of your
this way Better is one day in your course Better is one day in your house Better is one day in your course And a thousand to swear Better is one day in your course Better is one day in your house Better is one day in your course And a thousand to swear Better is one day in your course Better is one day in your house Better is one day in your course And a thousand else with Better is one day in your course Better is one day in your house Better is one day in your course And a thousand else with Better is one day in your course Better is one day
his heart Come and know he's God The God of wonders beyond our galaxy You are holy Holy The universe declares your majesty beyond our galaxy you are holy holy the universe declares your majesty you are holy holy you're the Lord of heaven and earth
Good morning. Jesus is in this place right now. He's moving. We're just going to keep rumbling in this place. We just feel this, the nearness of Jesus right now. As we lift up that he's holy, that he's worthy, his presence is crashing in. And I want to, we're going to keep worshiping in the word. And I want us to anchor this morning. We're going to anchor in Philippians 4, starting in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Come on. 
Let me say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Isn't that so true? That his nearness is our anchor. His nearness is the center point of what even allows us to rejoice. And it keeps on going. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God. Who here is thankful for the peace of God? It's real, it's tangible. It says that it's gonna surpass our understanding. It will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So as we keep on rumbling this morning, I just see this picture of us all being stamped by the word rejoice that it would be written on us that I am one who rejoices in the presence of God. So Jesus, right now, as we come into your presence, as we're declaring your holiness and your worthiness, Jesus, we lift up a rejoicing in our hearts today. And Jesus, we say, let it be a sacrifice of praise to you. Jesus, we say you are worthy. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our adoration. So we make the decision right now, Jesus, any anxious thoughts that we've stepped in with today, any worries, any cares, you say to bring them to you. But we're gonna start today with hearts of thanksgiving. God, I thank you that joy is even accessible in you. I thank you that in your presence we have access to joy forevermore, that it's unending. Come on, I believe there's something for us in that right now. That in your presence there's a fullness, a fullness, never ending abundance. It never ends. Our resource, our resource to joy in the Lord. Holy Spirit, we lift up your name, King Jesus. Thank you. In your presence, there's a fullness of joy. We lift up a rejoicing in our hearts. Oh, thank you that there's breath in our lungs. Thank you that we woke up today, Jesus. Thank you for your provision in our lives, Jesus. Thank you for the relationships you've surrounded us with. Thank you for the spirit of revelation and truth, God, that we can know you even more. Oh, we lift up a rejoicing. We receive, God, the ability to rejoice even in your spirit, God. Oh, we receive, God. We let it wash over us afresh the joy of the Lord.
temple cries holy. Everyone in the temple cries holy. Everyone in the temple cries holy. Oh, we're rejoicing in your holiness today, Jesus. Everyone in the temple cries holy. Everyone in the temple cries holy. Everyone in the temple cries holy. Temple Christ.
as we're declaring the worthiness of God here, I just feel this open heaven access to come closer to the Lord. And I just see this picture of the globe and the Lord over the nations. And almost like he's saying, how much of my kingdom do you want? How much of me do you want? How much of my heart, how much of my promises? The invitation of the Father. And I feel this grace, not as some sort of ministry obligation thing, but I feel this beautiful grace for us to say, Lord, I want it all. And that we would even be filled with a faith for the nations to know him. And I feel like there's this grace over this morning and over this moment, there's this grace where God's saying, will you receive a greater impartation of faith for the nations? And it's not a ministry thing, it's a kingdom thing. And I feel like he wants to break off small-minded thinking and small boxes and say, no, it's broad and it's wide. There's no one ministry name that can contain my glory. Jesus, we wait on your presence. And we say, God, we want it all. Not for a ministry name, not for a platform, not for our names, but because it's your will. It's your will, it's your desire to flood the earth with the glory of the Lord. So God, we say, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done, Jesus. Jesus, we say our hearts cry out for you. Our hearts cry out for your presence. And God, I ask for everyone engaged in this right now that you would truly supernaturally break off small-minded thinking about our lives, about our obedience, and about our yes. God, Lift us into your vision. Lift us into what you see. Let our lives touch eternity. Let our lives not just be for earthly purposes. Let our lives be for the purposes of eternity in Christ. Holy Spirit. I just believe the Lord wants to drop the miraculous in our hearts. Faith for the miraculous, that it really would be normal. Jesus, we wage war against the lies of the enemy. We declare you are our first love, Jesus. You are our first love. We declare war over everything less. We want you, God. Come on, can you pray out in your own heart and declare your one for him? Declare your love for him.
is to plead you every nation. Mary Martha, Mary Martha, this is the cry of our generation. It's the song of our creation. Declare it from your heart over every nation. Mary Martha, Mary Martha, this is the cry of our generation. It's the song of our creation. around the corner you have no idea what I'm calling you into and it's not for our glory it's for his it's not for our name it's for his Holy Spirit. come and search our hearts and 
show any offensive way that you would lead us in the way everlasting. We divorce ourselves from the ways of the world, Jesus. And we sign up to follow the ways of the King of glory. We're grateful for the wineskins of ministry that you've given, but that's not what we worship. We worship you, King of glory.
come on I want to ask if we can keep singing this out King of glory fill this place but can we sing it and say King of glory fill this heart fill this mind I feel this so strongly that God wants to deposit his kingdom afresh maybe there are patterns of thinking maybe it's self hatred maybe it's depression maybe it's just a critical spirit that you've known man i want this to break in my life but it's felt impossible and i believe the hand of god is here today to break off old patterns to break off old ways of thinking and for his kingdom to be down poured into our hearts and minds so god we enter in in faith right now and we do we declare war and we just say that the schemes of the enemy are powerless compared to the power of god holy holy your kingdom is high and above your name is high and above your power your authority is high and above and your vision for each of our lives is high and above what we even know. So we come into alignment with the will of God over our lives, over our minds and hearts. Let's sing that again. King of glory, fill this heart, fill this mind, make way. Declare it over yourself. Fall upon us. Weight of your glory coming fall upon. 
Let's continue to stay in his presence in this moment. Let's just wait on his presence. And it's something that he said to our community over the past few years. And it's about fresh oil. Oh. You know, our circuit rider community, we live here in Huntington Beach, and in downtown, there's Main Street. And the Lord's spoken about pouring out fresh oil. And whether you live here with us in California or not, I believe this is for all of us. But I feel like the Lord's saying, fresh oil, oil on Main Street. Fresh oil, oil on Main Street. And even for us, so much of that downtown area, God has spoken to in regard to evangelism and soul winning. And the farthest people from knowing God would come to know him. And I believe for all of us, God wants to release a fresh oil of intimacy on our lives. A fresh oil of abandonment to the King of glory. A fresh oil of worship. A fragrance. That alabaster jar. Broken with a reckless abandonment, saying it's all yours, Jesus. And that fresh oil, without striving, that fresh oil will lead to his glory in the nations. It will lead to a mass harvest. It will lead to soul winning and evangelism because of the oil of intimacy. So I believe there's a locking in this morning, even for us as circuit riders this week, all of our staff are coming back here to Huntington Beach and we're gonna gather and press in and seek the face of God. And I believe whether you're a part of circuit riders or not, this is something we can all grab a hold of to say, God, I will not step away from the first love. That is the only place of joy. That is the only place of grace. That is the only place of purpose. Is in the covering of the first love. Saying, God, before any other pursuit, you are my one pursuit. So Jesus, we say, let this morning be a locking in. Let this morning be a sealing, Jesus. A sealing of intimacy on our lives. God, I do ask that we would all step into a new place even where we're not wrestling to stay in the place of intimacy. We're not wrestling to make you our first love, Jesus, but there would be a greater locking in and even a greater ease that my life is marked by a love for the King. God, I want it, Jesus, that my life would be marked by an absolute adoration for him. That my life would be marked by a reckless abandonment to give it all at a moment's notice that he would be glorified. Holy Spirit, God, we ask 
would you release a fresh oil of intimacy? It's all you, Jesus. It's all for your glory, Jesus. It's all your name. Release a fresh oil, God. God, we ask over preachers, singers, musicians, artists, and creatives, God, release the fresh oil of intimacy, Jesus. God, we ask it over messengers and gatherings, Jesus. Release the oil of intimacy. God, we don't need blueprints. We don't need strategy. We need your oil, Jesus. We need intimacy. We need the first love, God. God, we cry out, God, where our hearts have been empty, where our hearts have been cold. Oh, we thank you that your oil is available now. Like the virgins at the wedding. Shit, it's the 
a deposit of fresh hope in our lives. And hope might seem like such a basic thing, but when you're filled with actual hope, it's a night and day difference when you were missing hope before. And I feel like right now, God wants to mark our lives afresh, every little like jagged edge, when we picture our future, where we might have unbelief, where we might have dread, where we might feel like, oh, I don't know what the details are, and I'm anxious, I'm worried, I'm fearful, all of those things. I see this picture like us skipping out of this worship set, filled with so much hope and joy for what God has coming, that even if we don't know all the details, we would be overflowing with, oh my gosh, well, it's definitely gonna be good. Oh my gosh, well, it's definitely going to be beyond my wildest dreams. And I just feel right now that if there's anything in our hearts or minds where that's not the, the tone, that God just wants to raise the water level, not through our striving, not through just, okay, I'm just going to say it, but a supernatural exchange with heaven. Holy Spirit, God, we do say we are yours. And in your presence, there's a fullness of joy. And God, we speak right now to every projection of fear about our future. We break it in Jesus' name. And God, we make space right now for the truth of God, the reality of God, the love of the Father to crash in. Holy Spirit. Come on, let's sing this out. And let's hope, let's let hope arise. Let's let joy arise. Come on, if you're sitting, could you stand? And can we declare this? Because in his presence, there's a fullness of joy. Come on.
foreigner. If you haven't even thought about going to the nations before, I believe God's saying, get ready to pack your bags. I believe there's a sending season we're going into. God's releasing fire on the home, and he's releasing fire to go. So God, wherever we are right now, God, we we receive right now fire over our families, fire over our homes, the place of staying, God. We ask for a supernatural fire, a burning in that place. And God, we ask for a fire to go. I just see like this exponential going. Even if you've literally just come back from a nation, I feel like he's saying, no, there's so much more. Come on, Ethan, what are you feeling?
Come on, can we give a shout to Jesus right now? Oh, in his presence, a fullness of joy. Jesus, we just declare right now, oh, thank you for your love. I don't know, do we still have something else in us? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Sounds like the band has something else. Should we do one more rumble? One more, one more, okay. Jesus, come on. Let that joy just hit your spirit right now. Just let that joy hit your spirit. God, we receive right now the joy of the Lord. Come on, let's go where they want to take us real quick. Uh, yeah. It's okay if I get a little Pentecostal here. You're gonna have to go with me. All right, you ready? We're just gonna give God glory, okay? Say this with me. Cause you always, always, you always get the glory. Somehow you always, you always get the glory. Can you sing it with me? Somehow you always, you always get the glory. Somehow you always, you always get the glory. You call it and now say, somehow you always, you always get the glory. Somehow you always, you always get the glory. Somehow you always, you always get the glory. Oh Jesus, somehow you tonight or this morning.
more time to say somehow you always We love you. We bless your name today, Jesus. We thank you for hope. We thank you for joy. We thank you for your fire and for your oil, Jesus. Oh, we glorify your name. Come on. Can we give him one last shout today? We love you, God. We love you, God. Come on. So good to be with you guys today. We'll see you at the next Greenhouse set tomorrow, Thursday night. Have a, oh, not next week it'll be next week all right we love you guys not tomorrow night but next week we'll see you again have a great day yes Yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Somehow. Good luck.